will start the tracking point. Touch gloves, come out fighting. Best man wins. No question, it's a legal fight with war paint. I doubt if that's covered in the war in the, in the, in the war book, in the rules book. <laughs> well, Lachlan has been over here a week, and it's been a hectic schedule. He's been on radio, he's been on TV. He is a tough monkey. He's going against a tough guy. This ought to be one of the better fights you'll see on ESPN. Well, Dale Cook should be trying to keep Arthur O'Loughlin at a distance. The first thing he did was come in with that sidekick. Pretty good left by Cook and then a split by Cook. O'Loughlin, always the sport, backed off, did not throw a cheap shot. Well, a powerful front leg sidekick then by Cook. Cook is an undefeated boxer as well as a karate fighter. 45-2 and two is his record. He's 11-0 as a boxer. There's a feature coming out on him in Ring Magazine. Arthur O'Loughlin has done some boxing in uh, England as well. Cook has gotten his respect early on with those front leg side kicks. Arthur O'Loughlin is a coal miner by trade. He's got a week off. He's over here with George Bettis. And they want a piece of Dale Cook badly. They've got to beat him in his hometown. George Bettis is the European coordinator for the Professional Karate Association, headquartered there in London. And there's a good solid kick by Arthur O'Loughlin. This guy knows what he's doing. That's what we were talking about. Baby. I was going to say, Joe, don't let that baby face fool you. He is a killer. You're exactly right. And we were talking about those in tight kicks at the head of the show and how he could hurt you in tight. Oh, good combination in by O'Loughlin. Right hand to the body, left hook to the jaw. O'Loughlin, once again, always a sport, did not follow up when Cook was off balance. Cook told me before this fight, he says, this guy does not back up. He says, I'm going to have to be at my very, very best because O'Loughlin is tough. Fifteen seconds left in round one, scheduled for nine in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Dale Cook in the red, in the blue, Arthur O'Loughlin as they continue to exchange. We'll be back with second round action right after this. I guess we better point out, he is a cutter, and he does bleed. He has lost one of his two fights because he was cut. Arthur O'Loughlin came here to fight. Dale Cook knows that. He was introduced to a good left hook by Arthur O'Loughlin. But Cook is fighting smart. He's using the long lane kick. Cook is a tough monkey, as we pointed out many times. He'll fight your southpaw, as he's doing now. He can fight your conventional. O'Loughlin's best punch is that left hook, and his best kick is spinning back kick. And now he shows a welt not only under the eye, but uh, under the mouth as well. This is O'Loughlin's fourth trip over here. First time he got a shot at the world title. Was stopped with body shots in that one. Next time he came over, he fought Jimmy Bland. Stopped Jimmy Bland in Atlanta. Then he came back and fought Ernest Hart. Lost the decision to Ernest Hart at the PK Nationals last year in Anderson, Indiana. This is almost a make it or break it time for Arthur O'Loughlin. He's 5'8", but he's the biggest 5'8", you'll see. Well-muscled, as is Cook. Both in excellent shape. They've run a lot. As I mentioned, this week has been tough on Arthur O'Loughlin. A lot of uh, uh, publicity for this one, trying to get the good crowd and everything, and he hasn't been able to do what he likes to do as far as training. Round two, scheduled for nine. Right to the body by O'Loughlin, and Cook counters both fighters. Showing that good sportsmanship responding to Zia Gennaro's action. O'Loughlin is trying to make Cook miss with the front hand, but Cook is not throwing the front hand, except very conservatively. Oh, snake-like right hand by Cook. Oh, good spinning back kick. Caught O'Loughlin on the jaw. I think he may have had a right glove in front of that. I would be surprised if he was still standing. Cook unloaded that thing. Cook looks very sharp tonight. Let's follow Arthur O'Loughlin back to his corner. This is George Bettis. He's in the cage. Keep your guard up. Don't get too close. Let's take a look at that spinning back kick, Joe, because it was a good one to the side of the face of Arthur O'Loughlin. You saw it knock the gloves right into him in the force of the kick. 
push Andre Lachlan's body back about three feet. This is a coal miner by profession, as we mentioned. He's got a week off. And he is as delightful as anybody you'll ever meet in your life. We talked to him about 30 minutes this afternoon. You talk about cooperative. If all professional athletes were like this guy, and uh, while we're giving him a plug, let's mention Dale Cook, because we called them both down to do some free five things, and they're both very cooperative. Two of my favorite people in the whole sport. You hear, hear the crowd. Apollo, Apollo. We're in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Round three, scheduled for nine. What's the score look like? Cook winning both of the first two rounds, 20 to 18, not necessarily because he's devastated O'Loughlin, but because he's been the more effective kicker. What a kick. Well, he is sharp tonight. I saw him against Magic Matt, and thus far, Apollo Cook looks like he is uh, just sharper. That was a 350-degree kick. If we ever get a chance to see that one again, you'll see him come around 350 degrees with that back leg kick. As I mentioned, Cook is 11-0 as a boxer. His last fight, he decision, Rocky Pigeon. He has seven knockouts as a boxer. He has 24 KOs as a professional karate fighter. Looks like a little scrape on Dale Cook's right eyebrow. Well, you have to appreciate what you're seeing as far as the skill and technique. Both fighters keeping excellent balance. They know what they're doing. They don't overextend. I am seeing more poise in Dale Cook in this fight than I have ever seen before. There's a look in his eyes. There's a sense of uh, confidence that I've never seen in him before. He's always been a good physical fighter, but I'm seeing something much different in his eyes tonight. I agree with you 100%. I did the fight with you when he uh, defended against Danny Magnus, saw him against Magic Mac. And I think he has trained harder for this one and taken this guy very serious. He really respects Arthur O'Loughlin. You can see why. O'Loughlin's a little brawler. O'Loughlin is trying to figure out how he's going to get inside. Cook has got him wondering about running into kicks, running into right hands. Cook and red, O'Loughlin and blue. A good left. Cook's guard that time. The first one landed and he doubled up and nailed him with the second one as well. What's that? What's that? Dale Cook has trained uh, his corner mentor, Ed Duncan and Billy Minner. <laughs> Cook is always very calm and collected every time we've watched him fight in the corner. He's got something in his eye. Let's take a look at some of the slow motion action here, Joe. Here's a 360 degree kick. It comes off the back leg, which was originally the front leg. You just cannot believe how difficult that is. You got a man standing in front of you who wants to knock you down, and you take the chance to spin like that. Joe, you make great sense. Uh, Coach football for a long time, and if you could find somebody could reach over, and there's a look at Dale Cook's story, but if you could find somebody could reach over and grab his feet, you knew you had an athlete. Both these guys are athletes. They are so limber. They've got that flexibility. To execute the kicks is something special. I would say Arthur O'Loughlin is feeling a little frustration now. Not really quite sure how he's going to get inside the limbs of this taller opponent. He's well, trying to fake him. Dale Cook is six foot, and Arthur O'Loughlin is five, uh, five foot eight. Cook really showing the velocity with those kicks. A pretty good left by Cook. He was off balance. I love the sportsmanship by both these guys. How about the scoring in that last round? Last round, I hit dead even. O'Loughlin evening it up at the end with the double jab. O'Loughlin followed up that kick with a uh, punch. And now, they accidentally hit each other. And I tell you, they both smile. And you got to love it, because both want this badly, and yet not badly enough to throw a cheap shot. A little bit of blood in uh, Cook's nose. They were working on that little scrape. Ooh. Really, very, uh, very professional handwork by Dale Cook on that last one. They were working on that scrape on Cook's eyebrow, right eyebrow, uh, in the, between the second, third round, third and fourth round, I should say. I've seen Cook come up with a broken nose, but that's about it. Really, he's unmarked. Laughlin has had some problems around the eyebrows when you visit with him. Oh, good right by Cook. And O'Loughlin clowns 
<laughs> he's smiling. <laughs> and I think it hurt a little more than he gets credit for. Oh, well, Lachlan, you gotta love this guy. <laughs> Arthur Lachlan, who's got a delightful sense of humor, took a hard shot on the chops, and he uh, gave it the phony stage. There's another right by Cook. That hurt. That one did hurt. But you know, when old Lachlan was smiling, his eyes were smiling, too. All right, coming up at the end of this round, we'll be back with more action in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Stay right with us. Now look at O'Loughlin's eyes. He, not only is his mind, look at the eyes are smiling. <laughs> look at the eyes. What a guy. <laughs> Arthur O'Loughlin and the crowd tried to hate him when he walked into the building. It's tough to do. There's his cornerman, Jared Spestis. I'm sure we've mispronounced it, but he'll never know. <laughs> yeah. now, George Spestis does quite a job there in Europe for the PKA. All right, round five. Cook has looked very sharp. Arthur O'Loughlin has got his work cut out because Cook has shown us good defense. Oh, outstanding front kick. O'Loughlin with a left and three rights. O'Loughlin pushing hard. Great follow through then by Arthur O'Loughlin. Had Cook off balance, followed with the double jab and the right hand overhand right. There's a warning as Apollo Cook was holding O'Loughlin that time. You gotta be at ringside to appreciate the velocity of those kicks because the air is warm. Joe, how fast are those kicks? Has anybody ever measured Thunderfoot Wallace, for instance? Yeah, Bill Wallace's kicks were measured at uh, in excess of 60 miles an hour as far as average speed was concerned, going more like 80 when they got to your head. All right, keep in mind, Nolan Ryan throws a baseball 99 miles an hour. You know how fast that is. Just a little less are these people throwing kicks 60 miles an hour with a spinning back kick. But they've only got seven feet to travel as opposed to 90 feet of that baseball. Well, 60 foot six inches, actually. <laughs> <laughs> How many feet does it? Nice shot by Cook into the body. And that's where O'Loughlin has been hurt before. It's in the body. All right, now there, once again, Rio de Janeiro talking to Cook about holding. You made a good point. O'Loughlin has been hurt in the body. Boy, Van Cook got him two solid punches. O'Loughlin has a jaw that's structured like former world heavyweight champion Ross Scott. Ross Scott, the man who knew not the word pain. I'll tell you one thing, O'Loughlin is going to keep bearing in. You see his strategy now. He'll just keep pushing the affair. He knows he's behind. A solid counter left. O'Loughlin clowns, but it was a good punch and scored well. O'Loughlin has one of those jaws that tells you it's going to be hard to hurt him. Into round five as the fighters return to their corner. Arthur O'Loughlin, 30 years of age, 5'8", 154, going against Apollo Cook. 24 years of age, just married four or five weeks ago. Like Six foot, 156. Take a look at that spinning back kick that we talk about, Joe, and the velocity behind it. Just drilling that front leg round kick in as a jump spinning 360 degree round kick. Jeff Smith of Washington, D.C., former World Light Heavyweight oh! Champion, introduced that in the middle of a fight several years ago. No one had ever seen it before. Dale Cook does it extremely well. Cook will give you all the actions. This is his hometown. He trains fighters here. Joe, I know when you fought that you were involved with your gym, you still have it if I am right in Atlanta, Georgia. Right, five schools in Atlanta. Round six, scheduled for nine. O'Loughlin apparently behind as Cook has been sharp, fighting in Cook's hometown. Remember when these rounds are even and O'Loughlin could have brought him up to even as far as effectiveness is concerned. Dale Cook would walk away with the round because his kicks are more effective. How did you score the last one? I got Cook by four. I had Cook winning the last one again. More effective kicks. Cook has been more effective with his kicks. O'Loughlin will flurry every now and then, but Cook has gotten a lot of punches in as well. Dale Cook wants to be a world champion, both as a boxer and a professional karate fighter. 45 and 2 with 24 KOs, 11 and 0 as a boxer. 
I need to repeat that Dale Cook has a look of confidence in his eyes now, an assurance that I've not seen there before. Both fighters have lost only twice. Ernest Hart has beaten both of these people. Nick Miranda, Dale Cook's manager, saw him fighting on ESPN, called him from St. Louis, signed him up. That was a fight you and I did. He fought Danny Magnus and said that he was going down to Las Vegas, Nevada for a fight. Miranda was a very aggressive promoter, handled Michael Spinks. Signed him up to a five-year contract. Kick to the body, and Cook looks to De Janeiro, feeling that it was low. There's a spinning back kick that uh, Lachlan was able to block with his elbow. Well, Lachlan's eyes don't even flinch when those kicks come around, and he's got the block in just the right place, and he's absorbing quite a bit of force in his arms when he does that. Six rounds scheduled for nine, nearing the end. Cook and Red trying to go the body. Good hard kick blocked by O'Loughlin. End of round six. As we follow Arthur O'Loughlin back to his corner. 30 years of age, a coal miner from London. 26 and two. Be interesting to see what kind of strategy George Spettis is giving him in the corner. You have to work on him. That's the seventh round. You have two rounds. You have to find him work as much as you can. You're going to lose it. A little bit of conflict there work. because O'Loughlin says, I'm doing okay, as good as him. You have two rounds left. you got to put the show. Remember, the thing of all the people is going to make happy, I think. Pick that phone and smile. Make someone happy. Remember that, baseman? You okay? Yeah. Take a look at uh, Lachlan and his kicking technique, Joe. He threw a good, solid front kick right down the body. You saw Dale Cook just absorb it, caused him to miss that right hand. A lot of strategy, a big, quick chess game going in there, and if you mess up, they take... That's tough on the old spleen. Lachlan had a good kick there, and that's the, uh, that's the difference, this sport in boxing. Fists and feet get equal billing here. Round seven, scheduled for nine. Cook out of Tulsa, fighting O'Loughlin from London, England. The British champion going against the United States champion. Something's got to give. Cook is just blasting those back leg -like round kicks into the head. The fights that we've seen Cook in down here, he is a finisher. He gets that crowd wired up, and he comes on very strong. Well, he had a good left, another left. Doesn't seem to phase O'Loughlin. Boy, he is rock hard. He is tough. That combination probably hurt O'Loughlin more than anything thus far, but as you say, he did not seem to react to it. Came back with solid uppercut inside. Apollo continues to bore in and push where O'Loughlin was coming in early. Comes back again, but Cook seems very, very confident. Something you pointed out twice, Joe. I've watched Cook fight five times and four in solid right. And that buckle on Lachlan's knees. Left leg round kick to the right side of the head. A right hand hook to the left side of the head. His eyes are not clear. De Janeiro is warning both of them, but O'Loughlin's knees buckled, and for a moment his eyes were glassy. They would have to. They'd have to buckle from that shot. Many of the experts in this sport did not think that oh. did not think that Dale Cook would have a chance with Alvin Crowder. But I would think that Dale Cook is showing that he's come to a point now where that would be an excellent bout. All right, Dale Cook giving a little hot dog himself now with those feet, and he takes a pretty good shot from the left, but he fights back with a kick. <laughs> Solid kick. Lachlan doesn't follow up the off-balance that Cook was involved in. Good fight. Win or lose in this fight, I sure would love to see Arthur O'Loughlin against Irish Mike Brennan. Oh, would that be something? I'll tell he's got to promote that one. That would be tremendous. On St. Patty's Day, no less. I'd like to see Dale Cook and Alvin Crowder now. Dale Cook has really matured so as a fighter. Dale, stay even. Stay even with him this round. Stay even with him. Here's what a fighter has to take, and you wonder how guys can laugh through action like this, because the punishment is severe. Okay. 
Two punch combination in by uh, Cook. You know, remember in this round, what he was able to do was land a solid, hard roundhouse kick to one side of O'Loughlin's head and come back with a hard right hand to the other side of his head. That was quite an, a combination technique. I've got, uh, got O'Loughlin behind by six points now. Round eight scheduled for nine. O'Loughlin's got to do something. Probably going to take a knockout. He is fighting in Tulsa. This is Dale Cook's hometown. Cook has been very sharp. Alvin Prouder is known as the Million Dollar Baby. Dale Cook calls him the Million Dollar Cry Baby. The fight may be ready to happen. Well, O'Loughlin is coming on. He'll go full four, trying for a knockout here, and that means you extend that jaw and you're opened up. Let's see if Cook counters. Cook's putting a lot of fast hand combinations together now. His height, Joe, his height advantage has really helped him too. Plus, he's got the better reach both with the arms and the legs. He's not letting Arthur O'Loughlin come in and hit him. He's hitting O'Loughlin on the way in. Saw Cook bring that elbow down. He knew he had to get it in front of that back kick. O'Loughlin had it going right at his liver. You got to get in eight kicks. Both fighters have had no trouble doing that. They're both aggressive with their feet. Oh, outstanding combination with the feet. That's an athlete, what Cook did just there. With the right foot, right foot barely came down to the canvas, and he kicked with the left. Now Cook is mixing his kicks to the body up with his kicks to the head. Nice side kick by Cook, right into the ribs. Well, Lachlan's not taking advantage of Cook when he gets him up against the ropes like that. Maybe because of the fatigue that he's suffering because of the hard body shot he's been absorbing. All right, we're coming to the end of the round. This is round eight, scheduled for now. Stay with us. We'll come back with the final round right after this. The left at the face. O'Loughlin had the right hand in the way. O'Loughlin may lose this fight, but I tell you, he'll sure gain some American fans with this fight against Dale Cook. All right, there's the reaction as the crowd gets behind Apollo Cook. We've seen this before down in this building. They really like Apollo Cook. They appreciate what he does in Tulsa. Arthur O'Loughlin is a guy they tried to hate, but he walked into the ring, and you just can't hate this guy. Round nine, here we go. O'Loughlin probably needs a knockout. Cook looked at him and said, hell of a fight, hell of a fight. Well, I gotta believe it's true. How do you have it scored this far? I've got Cook ahead by seven points, 80 to 73, but that doesn't tell the real story and the real personality of this fight. Both fighters fresh. They still have some pop in those gloves. I thought that O'Loughlin might run out of gas because of the humidity. It's hot in Tulsa, about 98 degrees outside. He's been over here a week. Oh, oh. Spinning back kick. But O'Loughlin keeps blowing in. He's throwing rights and lefts. And Cook clowns a little bit. <laughs> I'll tell you what. These two guys could take this show on the road. Cook saying to him still, hell of a fight, hell of a fight. Last round. Scheduled for nine in Tulsa. It's been a good one. Cook laughs as O'Loughlin. You're all right, but you haven't hurt me. Good punches both ways. Good shot landed in by O'Loughlin just as Cook landed his short left hook inside. So did O'Loughlin. Cook has this thing if he doesn't get careless because O'Loughlin still has some punch left. They've gone nine rounds. You're talking about two rounds, or two minutes, I should say. Try it sometimes when you kick and push like this. Dale Cook is getting dangerous with his right hand. Rio de Janeiro is always doing a good job staying on top of the action. There goes Cook, and he's not backing off a bit. He's still throwing punches. 13 seconds left. We'll come back with the decision from Tulsa, Oklahoma, right after this. Stay with us. card reads as follows. 
Judge Kelly scores the bout 90-82. Judge Buten scores the bout 90-85. Judge Compton scores the fight 90-83. The winner by unanimous decision, the United States welterweight champion, Dale Apollo Cook. Congratulations. Congratulations. Title. Let's go to Joe Corley up in the ring. Joe Corley has the champion, Let's Apollo see, uh, Cook. Got Dale Cook. Dale, there's not much you can say about a great fight like that. Arthur O'Loughlin put up a heck of a battle. You really showed some confidence, some superb technique in this fight. But I got one question for you. Is it Alvin Prouder or Bob Thurman? Well, Bob Thurman doesn't want to fight me. Nobody out there wants to pay me beans to fight Alvin Prouder. I don't want either one of them. I'm going to box for a while. Okay, well, I think you've got a great shot coming up with Alvin Prouder. What we saw tonight, I think you've got an Alvin Prouder fight ready to happen. Well, I've been ready to fight either one of them for three years. I'm just getting tired of waiting. Um, I'll fight any, either one of them as soon as someone puts it together. But I, my days of fighting for 300 bucks are over. I don't blame you. Alvin Prouder, Bob Thurman, I think you've got a great, uh, great fight here with uh, Dale Cook. Let's go back now to Irv Brown at ringside. I'm, I'm sorry, Dale. Arthur O'Loughlin is the toughest kid I've fought in three years. It, all you welterweights in America, you don't want no part of this guy. Okay, Irv Brown. <laughs> all right, thank you. For Joe Corley, this is Irv Brown, and we'll see you in Atlantic City on July 8th on ESPN. Outstanding fight. Dale Cook the winner over Arthur O'Loughlin. Thank you.